So over the past couple of years, the YouTubers of the Quartering and Review Tech USA have been beefing back and forth a lot on Twitter, which of course has now resulted in a boxing match being set up between the two by Keemstar. But the chances of this boxing match actually happening might be in jeopardy now due to information leaking regarding Sam Hyde's involvement in training the Quartering for this boxing match, which would make this the second time drama has occurred due to Sam helping someone train for their boxing match with the first one being of course Froggy Fresh, which I just find to be a bit humorous, but this all started when Review Tech USA tweeted out, well apparently the quartering is training with Sam Hyde, not that it matters cause Keem wanted the fight to happen July 8th, and there is no chance of that happening. I'm 200% in for 2024, but with what's going on in my life, July is too early. He then shares this YouTube video clip from Sam Hyde's live stream. The quartering. Sending this from the sauna, he says, giving us 25. Oh, good lad, thank you. Thank you, man. How's the training going? What, mine? No, for uh, so, quartering. Well, that was a secret, but now it's not. We can edit that out, though, don't worry. Noah McCarthy. <laughs> thank you for joining some your Hey, guys, if you're just catching back up, the last 15 seconds didn't happen. D. D. Myth. Silon. The quartering responds to Review Tech USA with eyes emoji. Kyle responds to Review Tech USA by saying, This fight is never going to happen. The quartering responds, Bro, I've been training every day. Built a home gym up. Flew out to spar with some coaches. Choking down protein shakes. Working cardio. Landmines. Lifting. Don't spin any of that negativity on me. Keemstar responds to Review Tech USA by saying, You said October. Now you are changing it to 2024? The quartering quote tweets him and says, Yes, Keemstar. I still got a kid at the hospital. Hospital, and I didn't think it was gonna be this long. Also, I'm gonna get sponsors, medical clearance, etc. I'm gonna leave with some kind of bag for this, laughing my ass off. Smoky Complex responds to Keem by saying, A delayed fight is eventually good. A rushed fight is bad forever. Review Tech USA quote tweets them and says, Thank you. This. I'm absolutely positive as well that the quartering wants this extra time too, laughing my ass off. It will benefit both of us, and I'll make more money. I want this fight to be good, not too slob swinging like gorillas. Right. Ryan Hot responds by saying, Oh look, Rich is buddies with the quartering now. This is never going to happen. Just like all the stuff he promised people on YouTube. Rich responds, Are you okay? To which Ryan Hot responds, I'm good, you just lie too much, man. Rich quote tweets him and says, I'd love for you to come on the show as well, Ryan. I tried to DM you, but your DMs were closed. The quartering then tweets about this when he says, Welp, the cat is out of the bag. Yes, I have been training in secret for about the last two months preparing for a boxing match. Someone made an oopsie and let it be known I was training with Sam Hyde. By training, I mean getting punched in the head non-stop by him. Also enlisted the help of Harley Plays, and hopefully we'll still punch each other this summer. Within hours of that leaking, my opponent demand the fight be cancelled, and move to some unknown time in 2024. He does have sick kid, but that didn't stop him from making videos like this. Alright everybody, I'm spreading the breaking news that the quartering is a giant pussy in public. So, here we go. Here we go. Hello everybody! I have breaking news. The quartering is a giant pussy. Thank you. That's all. The quartering continues by saying, Numerous live streams and videos about how he was prepared and I was scared. I kept my mouth shut and trained, and will continue to do so. Sparring with Sullivan MMA was challenging, exhausting. Sparring with Sam Hyde was terrifying. I had another trip out there planned in a few weeks, as we've been going hard getting ready for October. As it stands right now, I'll be making the trip and still getting yelled at by Sam. I've dropped about 26 pounds with a goal of getting closer to 75 lost by fight night. Being sick these past 10 days really was a road Roadblock. I hear my opponent's kid is sick. My thoughts go out to him and his family. Sam Hyde responds, classy man, good work ethic. Frogs Gray responds by saying, if you'd be so kind, please give us a video of your training highlights with Sam Hyde. The quartering responds, there is no footage. Well, I did do some vlogs back at the hotel. Sam was doing me a huge favor while being extremely busy and also running the fish tank. I felt like it would be disrespectful to cram a camera in his face. We would likely film some stuff down the road though. Going all the way back to the 
first tweet I read of Review Tech USA saying that the quartering is training with Sam Hyde and that he wants to delay the fight to 2024, Sam quote tweets him and says, do 2026 instead, and then the quartering responds, odd, long way from this, no? Showing the video of Rich that I played earlier, Rich quote tweets him and says, not at all, I'm still all in, but life happens, what's wrong with January of 2024? The quartering responds, I sincerely am pulling for your daughter, I don't know the specifics, but I'm told she is sick slash in the hospital, it's a pretty important thing to deal with, keep us posted. Rich responds, thank you man, I appreciate that. Gilly responds to Rich's previous tweet by saying, I feel like with how much you were taunting him about backing out, it's because you really don't want the fight, but had to make it look you did. I don't know man, I hope your daughter is speedy recovery though. Rich responds, I am still 100% in. I also didn't think things would work out the way they did regarding my situation. I'll let my actions speak more than words. You'll see. Also, thank you for the well wishes. Rich then tweets out, Alright, I'll admit it. I talked a lot of shit about the quartering match, and I shouldn't have until I knew where the chips were gonna lie with my situation. I'll let me actions speak for me on if I'm serious. I am. But I'll take the licks I'm gonna receive on social media. I earned them, lol. And speaking of licks, Keemstar then gave Rich a good licking when he made this Twitter video video at both him and the quartering. Gentlemen, I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting very frustrated. Um, I, in good faith, tried to set up a boxing match between both of you. All right. At the beginning, it seemed like Rich publicly wanted to do a boxing match with the quartering, and it seemed like the quartering was not interested. Right. So I started putting out tweets saying, I'll host it. I'll, I'll help set this up. The quartering was silent night on social media. So when I actually spoke to the quartering, to my shock and my surprise, the quartering is actually down to fight, all right? So I put out a tweet saying, "Both nobody's ducking, this fight is happening, I'm working on it, right? Now, when I spoke to you, Rich, privately, you had a lot of questions about the quartering. You're like, is he actually training? Does he actually wanna fight? Is this fight actually gonna happen? And I told you, yes, he is training. He's actually training with someone, he, 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 he is down, he is not ducking, this fight is gonna happen. That's what I told you, Rich. And he goes, Rich goes to me, training with who? I'm like, I can't tell you. And Rich goes, I already know he's training with Sam Hyde. Rich said that to me, not the other way around, all right? And Rich, what did I tell you? I said, well, look, Rich, I know you want this fight to happen, all right? The quartering told me if it gets leaked that he's training with Sam Hyde, that he's gonna cancel the fight, all right? So don't leak it. Ever since we had that call, which was roughly like a month ago, I think, You've been going out saying Keemstar told me that the quartering is training with Sam Hyde. No, I fucking didn't. Not only did I not tell you, you're the one that told me, even though I already knew, right? But on top of that, I told you, if you leak this, or this gets leaked that he's training with Sam Hyde, that he's gonna pull out of the fight. And you've been fucking putting it out there all the time. I just, on your stream last night, Keemstar told me that the quartering is, no, I didn't. No, I fucking didn't. And I'm, and I'm asking myself, is Rich trying to get this fight canceled by leaking this? Is he? Like, make it make sense. But Rich, you need to stop lying. I didn't tell you this. You already knew it, and you told me this. Did I confirm it? Yes, I confirmed it, because you already fucking knew, because I wanted to make it very clear, now that you know that he's training with Sam Hyde, not to leak it because that was one of the things that the quartering told me he would drop out of the fight if that got leaked. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening, Rich. Are you trying to get the fight canceled? I don't know. Quartering's pissed off at me and thinks I fucking told you when I didn't. It, it, it's really frustrating, Rich. The quartering response to Keemstar with this picture of Sam Hyde looking at Rich's cucumber. He also says, So everyone knows, I have zero concerns with being associated with Sam Hyde. I just want to have a huge cool reveal slash transformation montage that would be a really cool surprise for my viewers. Outside of punching me in the head nonstop, Sam has been great to me and I am thankful. Sam Hyde responds, Rich, just say you don't want to fight, man. Any other response is just weird. Get it over with. Shout out to the quartering who put real work in. Two times a day, actual box workout sparring. Keep the cardio and weight loss going. Proud of you. The quartering then responds with six arm flex emojis. Rich responds to Keemstar by saying, dude, what the fuck? 
Bullshit. I was sitting at my desk in my office and you told me on the phone he was training with Sam Hyde. I never said a thing until his assistant leaked it publicly on stream. Keemstar responds, that is not true. Rich then responds to Keemstar with this Twitter video in the caption, Keemstar, are you kidding me? You either have a terrible memory or you're playing a mind game to conjure up social media drama. Either way, I'm still down for the fight. See you in early 2024. Keemstar, this has to be like a mind game. Or, you know, I know we're getting old. Look at the ha look at the gray hair of my beard. I remember clear as day, I was about to live stream. I was sitting at my desk in my office. And yes, we talked about the fight. Yeah, I asked questions about Jeremy. And on top of it, you told me to do a bunch of cardio. You were also the one that told me you cannot say anything about this. Who, their entire group of people can't stand me. So who would have said anything? You told me on the phone that Sam Hyde was trading the quartering, but don't say anything because if you say something, he will, it'll, he'll use it as an excuse to not fight. I never said a thing. Go check my live streams. Go check my social media. I kept my lips zipped. It was Sam Hyde's assistant during a live stream when they got a super chat from the quartering while he was in his hot tub that his assistant leaked that Sam Hyde was training the quartering. So if you have a problem with somebody, have a problem with Sam Hyde's assistant. Have a great day. Keemstar responds, that is not true. You're the one with a horrible memory. Rich responds, okay, great. Still not canceling the fight and I'm 100% down. I strongly encourage you where on any platform anywhere that I leaked Sam Hyde was training with him. I'll pay you if you find something. Let's go, laughing my ass off. If I leaked Sam Hyde was training with Jeremy for a month, why would everyone in this clip uploaded three days ago show otherwise Keemstar? Linking the clip that I showed at the beginning of this video. Rich continues by saying, I guess Keemstar Keemstar didn't realize that video evidence existed. Oops. Hollowed Creep responds, so what happens now? To which Rich responds, I'm still down for the fight. End of discussion, laughing my ass off. And that actually was the end of the discussion because there was no response from Keemstar or anybody else. It seems like this little Twitter beef was mostly just a misunderstanding and miscommunication between all parties. Everybody wants this fight to happen, but unfortunately for Review Tech USA, his daughter is sick in the hospital and the situation is lasting longer than he anticipated. And and of course, that is the most important thing out of all of this. Obviously, we all want the boxing fight to happen, but the health of a human being is obviously more important than some YouTube entertainment. So I do wish the best to Rich and his daughter for a speedy recovery. And I would encourage all of you guys to pray for his daughter or if you weren't religious, just wish her a speedy recovery because, well, why wouldn't you? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe with notifications on and also check out any videos on the end card of dramas you may have missed. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.